My friends, welcome here again. Today I am here with my guitar player from Kills Rock, Marco. Marco Choca, how are you, my friend? I'm good, I'm good, man. I'm good. Oh, you have to know we are punk rock head both. But recently uh, I presented some uh, progressive metal bands to Marco. And after uh, disliking a little bit, uh, he, he, by himself, he discovered especially the band, the great epic band Dream Theater, and he felt in love with them. And he also went watching them live, and I did the same in this January. Marco, bisogna tornare di nuovo. We have to go again to, to, to watch Dream Theater live, of course, together. We must. We have to. Okay. It's a duty. This is a, a must. Not a good one. This is a must without any doubt. And uh, Marco is also a little bit familiar now with Opeth band. That of course, <laughs> oh man, is, is a taste you need to, to, to build. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a building taste, Opeth. It, it, it is not catch immediately, uh, but step by step, they are increasing. Isn't it, Marco? Well, to be honest, I already love my friends from Stockholm. Uh, but I have to know more songs from them because they have done so many <laughs> great yeah. songs. Yeah, my friend, yeah, my friend. And you, you have to know, my friend, that Marco is very familiar with Blackwater Park record, without any doubt, the legendary, the classic here 2000 Blackwater Park. He started from that record and was really impressed. This is a mesmerizing record. And he also, he also checked it several times Ghost Reveries. Uh, a couple of times, and of course, Ghost of Perdition, Arlequin Forest, isn't it? You already know these songs there. Uh, Beneath the Mire, the Bang of the Hounds. That he, of course, if you didn't check it, uh, Ghost Reveries, the song chosen for you will be the Bang of the Hounds, but you already know. So, uh, Marco is less familiar with some other records. I mean, less familiar with My Arms, Your Hairs, this one. That is not my favorite, but he already know very well Demon of the Fall, he told me. And he's not familiar with my favorite record, Still Life, I don't know why, but he will be familiar one day. Uh, Opeth, Serenity Painty Death and Goddess Laments, he's not familiar with. But my friends, the record he is less familiar, of course, is Watershed. The last bomb before they started their progressive rock clean career, you know what I mean? So this is, Marco, uh, oh. in this record here, uh, if I'm not wrong, the year 2008, 2008, the last record with growling voice, uh, here it takes everything, you know what I mean? Uh, I think Mikkel Eckerfeld is vomiting here, all his growling, <laughs> in the, oh, of course, it's a kind of, I don't know, if it's a kind of catharsis, he's vomiting here, everything he have inside. So. You, I, I think you will love this record, but this, this record is maybe the heaviest one, you know? The heaviest one. But, of course, there are spaces here for clean vocals also here and for, uh, man, for some melodic stuff. However, Marco, I decide that today you have to discover the Opeth Watershed record starting with the first track. To be sincere with you, there is a track that is called Coil that he started the record very melodic. Uh, just the voices, also if a male voice, nothing is never is happening in an in a, um, Opeth song. But this is a short intro, three minutes, coil, very beautiful. But I immediately go with the track two, Hair Apparent, this one. This one is the song that I will show to you. My friends, so now I need convincing Marco to go together watching Dream Theater and it's easy. But we have to go also watching Opeth because we have to know he missed it. Marco, tell us why you were missing. In September, I, did, I, I went there, but Marco not in November. Why? I, I tried to buy the ticket for the concert in Berlin, which was November 14th last year, <laughs> but it was sold out. So I tried to go there anyway because uh, I live quite close to, I live close to the um, theater, but uh, there was no possibility. I mean, uh, nobody was selling tickets, nobody was reselling tickets, so basically nothing. 
I was, um, yeah. Uh, Marco, astrology against you also. <laughs> Someone <laughs> is, is not, does not believing in, ast in astrology, but you know, this is my first job. However, we don't waste more time. Three, two, one, this is a bomb. Prepare yourself to come. <laughs> to come strong. Three, two, one, hair apparent. Go. Marco, volevi qualche chitarra elettrica potente? <laughs> it's really from the beginning. I know, I know, I, I know some, you know, like 15, 20 opera songs. And so far, this beginning is like super, super cool. Super cool. <laughs> this is one of, uh, Marco, this is one of the Opets fans' favorite songs. Really, <laughs> really. Uh, here apparent, here apparent. He, uh, every OPEF listener is addicted to this song. So five seconds back, go and we go forward. Spooky piano. Marco, we want to speak about those riff, long days and ta da 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 bam 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 my god! I don't know the English word, it's like uh, in Italian we say conturbante. This is massive. In, in English you can say massive impact. Oh my god, Marco, <clears throat> and, uh, these, those riffs are beautiful, I know, but, and this voice, long days. My friend, this is different growling. Pure terror in this song. Some yeah. some people is saying that you feel compressed during this song. You know what I mean? Like oh man, <laughs> I don't know. Like you are in a box, compressed. Because uh, basically, uh, you know, I can play. I play piano, so I I'm always a bit like uh, let's say I like piano basically. You know, to listen to piano, and basically uh, the first shock was from piano to the next step, and then after the next step there was a growl. So it was like uh, yeah, because uh, the, the next uh, step is is identical to the start, you know. What I, but after the piano transition, you, you don't expect no more. Down the impact, of course. And this is yeah, I, I agree with you. And the ability of, of Opet is to took you away from the song from some second and then again back. I don't know, like some pauses. I don't know, maybe. Listen again back here at this transition. Oh, wait.
the power of this transition. Pa ba 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 Marco, non puoi credere di avere un'altra transizione così dalla bomba al... Che poi, se ci fai caso, altro che mandare indietro appena appena questa transizione, si inizia a sentire, quando finisce da solo, si inizia a sentire la chitarra acustica sotto. A me piacciono molto queste trame intricate della chitarra acustica che si alterna. Non lo fa quasi nessuno okay. nel metal. Che dici te? Questa cosa di alternare la chitarra elettrica a questi pezzi acustici con la chitarra pulita sono questi, sono, no mi piace tantissimo queste band appunto Dream Theater o, o per, anche se sono diverse perché appunto hanno queste hanno di combinazioni che nel, che nel metal non, 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 ci, non ci sono sem semplicemente non ci sono le altre non le fanno e per questo mi piace sinceramente questo è il motivo in realtà di base condivido vado 10 secondi dietro per farti sentire passaggio dalla sua suono delle dita che passa dalla chitarra proprio Marco attento guarda lo schermo se non ti vedo Marco, vuoi un po' di trash metal? Dai, io poi... Proprio... I don't know what... The, the composer, I don't know what, what he had inside when he did that, to be honest. Uh, a, a way to listen to the Lotus Eater, the most crazy song by Opeth ever. More crazy than this one. However... Okay. Uh, however... Did you, did, Marco, did you listen to the trashy drumming, trash metal drum? Lee here. Also... Because it's all together, it's uh, homogenic, let's say. Fantastic. Yeah, and, awesome. this, and this record is one with the best production. I mean, Blackwater Park is very good with the production. This one is very good. For me, the best production of the record in the quality of the sound is Ghost Reverie's record, but also this one is perfect. <laughs>
Okay, you will believe it. After the wild, I, I, I told you before, he is vomiting here, every, everything inside, all the demons inside. But after this session, crazy session, a melodic outro, that way, a transition into a gorgeous melodic melody here. Listen back again, this transition is incredible. Okay, Marco. <laughs> it's a song of hope that passes through limbo to, to hell. Yeah, it's a, it's my friend. Hope. This is uh, uh, yeah. Wait, my friend. I, I'm going back. I, I listen to you better with my headphones in. Uh, it's a trip in, on hell, but at the end, paradise. I mean. Oh. The transition at the end is totally different to the vibes of the previous song, don't you think? Yeah, in fact, I was saying uh, it's a song of hope, the last part, but it goes through hell, through, through limbo in the, in the middle. Uh, and that's it. I mean, it's like I have to listen to it again to understand it, really. It, it is necessary, <laughs> obviously. Your, your mind is mind blowing. <laughs> your brain can't yeah. can, can process everything, I know. <laughs> he, it's yeah a human brain is not able to, to process everything he's saying here in only one listen it's impossible I I, I agree with you man but the, yes. the, the impact is impressive of, of this song and of course as you as you said piano too a couple of times and also a, a kind of flute at some point at the start yes in the in the acoustic transition however uh this is 
man, really, believe me, this is an amazing record. Not my favorite, but this is a 9 out of 10, of course, of ranking. I ranked this one as a 9 out of 10 overall. <laughs> okay, my man, that's all, my friend. So I think Marco will go uh, watching Opeth one day live after this one. Yeah, yeah, well, I have to, I have to. I mean, uh, they're from Stockholm. I live in Berlin and not far. So or maybe I will see them in Italy. I don't know where. <laughs> Somewhere, for sure. Ragazzi, uh, Marco ha sentito per la prima volta questo disco praticamente. Questa canzone è la bomba assoluta. Uh, All'inizio ti può, ti può disarmare. E poi se uno avesse parole finita sta roba qui vuol dire che non sarebbe normale. Ciao, alla prossima Marco. Ciao, grazie Giacomo, grazie. Thank you Jack. Thank you Giacomo. Thank you, thank you very much.